He's very flirty. He's he's about to arrest someone. He's like, hi, do you want to come with me? I'm your officer. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, my goodness. Just flirting your suspect into the police station. That's one way to arrest someone. Soul Soul Simmers, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pack Legacy Challenge. A legacy challenge where every generation is a new pack and we get to play through all of them. We're back with Yule, and Yule is at the gym after his reunion with Dawn. It is still Christmas Eve. We haven't really celebrated anything from Christmas Eve. And also, I left you guys on a cliffhanger of whether we are gonna go on a date with Violet, yes or no. I did have to click away the dialogue box whenever I wanted to close the game on the previous episode. And actually, I noticed that it was one of those pop-ups where you could say like whatever you wanted and then it wouldn't actually immediately schedule a date i was kind of anticipating like that we would have to travel to a date straight away but we didn't which means that we actually have like some room to work with to still figure out what i wanted to do i did click an answer i'm not going to tell you guys what yet because i think it might be fun to kind of explore that in this episode however there's a couple of things that are more important first because as you might have seen the previous episode of the pack legacy was actually a speed build which is yule's new house together with Plum Bobby and Yuki. So I want to make sure that we actually move there because right now he's still living in his crappy apartment and I think it is time to move. So we need to like pack up his stuff, make sure that we take everything that we need for the cats and everything. And then we're gonna actually furnish his room in the new house as well because I haven't done that in the speed build. I wanted to make sure to do that on actual like gameplay wise so I could show you on a video to kind of talk you maybe in a little bit more detail through the process of what I'm gonna be building for you. I kind of want to try to see if we can still celebrate a little bit of Christmas Eve. So he's been at the gym the entire time to kind of maybe blow off some steam from talking to Dawn. So I'm just gonna make sure that he stops his workout and he's gonna go travel home. He's gonna celebrate Christmas with his cats maybe. Although tomorrow is first day of Christmas. So maybe on first day of Christmas, we can actually move. But for now, Christmas Eve, he's gonna celebrate with his cats. And then I also like the idea. I think I talked about this in the previous episode. It's been a while because I pre-recorded that episode before I left for TwitchCon and my festival that I went to. And then the next episode was the speed build so I haven't played in this save file for quite some time so forgive me if there is some things that I have said in previous episodes that now sound very silly that I don't remember because that's just what happens when you don't play in a save for like three weeks I think it might be cute to actually invite over Dawn for Christmas day but maybe we can invite her over to her new house or like to our new house so we don't have to like show her this crappy apartment I feel like it's okay if Dawn never sees this apartment so let's see I think we can rummage for winter decorations and if we put them up that will count this one father winter will be here in, in like three minutes we can give a gift or open presents I think for opening presents I don't know if it counts if you get something from father winter and you open it I feel like we're gonna have to try that out also father winter I just realized is supposed to show up in houses with a fireplace but since we don't have a fireplace it might very well be that father winter won't actually be here yeah there's no fireplace here well I guess then maybe potentially we're not going to be able to complete all of the aspirations or like all the things that he wants to do for Christmas Eve. But the least we can do is decorate, right? Oh, Father Winter is here. Look, that's unexpected. Father Winter is scolding at my cat. I don't think that's that's cool. Can you not do that? My cats are like my precious babies. Let's do let's do a friendly introduction. Yay, we actually found decorations. Oh, we found more candles. I like those. Oh, he doesn't like us, I guess. He's cheerful, family oriented, and a glutton. He like family motivated sim. Sure, I like that. That's that fits his storyline. Can we give him an, a gift? Oh, actually, we have quite a lot of weird things in our inventory. Let's give him an evidence sample. Let's be like Father Winter. This is what we do for a living. We're gonna give you a very exclusive evidence sample for Christmas. I mean, it's tradition, so we have to tick it off. I don't think he's going to be very happy with it, but that's fine. He's nosy. Ooh, that's actually a good one. I feel like that fits with him being a detective. Like, that'd be a really solid personality trait for someone who's a detective. So let's actually say yes to him being nosy. I like that. Also, opening presents just got ticked off as well. But now we need to ask Father Winter for a present. Ask for a present. There we go. Yay, we ticked that off as well. Actually, I'm just going to tick off the decoration one too, because that the only thing we can do is actually rummage for decoration. I wonder what we're gonna get. Oh, this is exciting. What do we get? This is important. What do we get? London's choice. One London's choice. I actually do not know what that is. And I have a feeling like it might be in our actual household infantry. So let me check because curiosity is winning it right now. I need to know. Oh, why? we actually have so many things in here that we don't need. That is also going to give us a lot of money. What the heck? Why do we have all of these things? That's the horn of plenty. London's choice. He gave us a stove. 
A 4,000 simoleon worth stove? Yo, Father Winter really, really liked our evidence sample, didn't he? That was a bit weird, but okay. I think I'm actually gonna... Wait, cannot sell. Cannot play. Well, I'm not trying to place it. I'm trying to sell it. There we go. I'm just gonna sell everything that we have in here. Yo, we're rich. I feel like that is going to help us, like, make sense of the fact that he's about to move, though. I'm gonna keep the Horn of Plenty, and I'm gonna keep those candles because I think that's cute. I'm gonna sell that, too. I actually think it is time for me to pack up because we're gonna move out anyways, and now that I'm in build mode, I might as well. So there's a couple of things I want to take because I feel like there's a couple of things that are just nice to take with me, like the pet bed and all of those things because we're gonna have to buy those anyways. Of course, we have to bring our bags with us. I think that also makes sense. And then there is a bunch of things that we actually bought. I think it makes sense if we take our laptop because that's expensive. We're gonna take our pictures and our memorabilia. We can take the foosball as well. I think we can... Do we take the desk? That's actually a, a difficult question because I might want to redecorate the room, although I really do like this desk. We're definitely going to take his Xbox or his gaming console with no further specified brand on it. Let's actually take all of our scouting trophies and our eggs as well. We're definitely going to take our scouts board, even if we just keep it in our household inventory. I might want to take that. We're not going to take our kitchen because we don't need it. We're not going to take our living room furniture because we don't need it. I might actually take the desk. I'm not going to take the chair though. I'm going to take the desk only. And I might take that one as well. Oh, I just realized there was a painting that I apparently hadn't moved. Anything else? I think that's it. I feel like this solidifies how empty this house was and how bad it looked and how uncozy. So it is time to actually decorate his like new room and make it super cozy and really give it some personality. But I think now that we've all packed up, I think it is time for our last night in our little city apartment. We also, I just noticed we have so many crime witness reports and evidence samples and stuff in our inventory. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it there. But I'm not sure if we're still gonna need it, but I'll just leave it there. But I think eventually I'm gonna have to clean out my inventory, right? Maybe he can have a quick call with, let me see. You can have a quick call. Let's do a chatty family call with Yuki. And let's do, let's just chat with Plum Bobby. Because I think it makes sense. You'd call your friends that you're about to move into with the next day, like to, to call them the night before. Be like, hey, what is our plan? How do we do this? What is like... How do we go about this? All of those things. I think that makes sense. Okay, he is calling with both of them and I feel like it is time for Father Winter to leave because he's just chilling in my house, which is getting kind of weird. And then I think I'm just gonna let him sleep. Oh, the cat. I was gonna be like, oh my God, the cat sleeping on the bed. That is so cute. What kind of Houdini cat do I have? Anyways, let's... Oh, it's too noisy. Are you telling me the neighbors are being annoying again? Yep, let's pound on door because we're we're mad it's christmas eve come on that's not a time to fight are they gonna open or are they just gonna stay in their house okay apparently me pounding on the door was enough for them to be like oh crap yeah that's rude oh i just realized we still have a picture here i'll just put that in his normal inventory then let me just do a quick swirl if i because with the walls down i barely noticed that picture there's anything else that i have left no okay i think we should be good oh i'm really excited to move into his new house okay christmas eve was successful i think for christmas day the new apartment has has like plenty of space to put an actual Christmas tree in the living room. I think it would be really cute to celebrate Christmas with Yuki and with Plum Bobby. And also we can invite Dawn. I think that'd be really, really nice. We can also invite Parker. That would be fun. Maybe even Violet, maybe potentially, you know, as part of that date that I might have agreed to. Also, it says work starts in one hour for you, for you. I just realized, I think I unclicked that Christmas was a day off because I wanted him to go to work and I didn't think about this for a single second. His work starts in like, 25 minutes. We're good. I, I have a solution for this. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to put some grilled cheese. There's four left. That's not great. Can I split that up? Can I grab a serving? And then because it's already in his inventory, right? Can I move that back into the fridge? I think I was just on time. He's about to go to work. I hope that stays in his inventory and travels with him. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to complete the work day and then I'm going to move out. As soon as he arrives home, I'm going to move out and go to the new place. But I also don't want to skip out on work because I now realize why I set it as a like a non-holiday because I really want to play through a detective career and I think I remember now. See, this is what I mean. I haven't played in this day for a while. I remember now we were really, 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 really close to a promotion. So I really want to get that promotion now. Also, I figured out how to extend my work day. I'm still so mind blown about this. People kept suggesting it in the comments and I'd never seen it before. And then I tried it out on stream. So you know how when you hover over this, there's like a cross in the circle. That to me suggests that if you click it, the workday will end, right? So apparently if you click this, you get the option to either end the workday 
early or to stay longer. So if you ever for the interactive careers need extra work time, you can just click that and then give yourself two extra hours. Like, I think we're going to use that. I don't think we're going to use it today because today's Christmas, but still we are going to use it at one point. Also, we have to search criminals at the booking station, get criminals fingerprints, and we need to interrogate a suspect, which again, we don't have a suspect right now because I don't think we've arrested someone in the case or we did, but the case kind of just got reset. I'm still confused about it, but I think it might actually be nice if we start the day with booking some criminals. So let's search a suspect. Let's start with Clementine Richards. Also, I'm currently watching Dexter with my boyfriend and it's so fun to like watch a police and detective show while playing this career in The Sims. I genuinely think that adds to my enjoyment because I feel like I keep seeing so many similarities and like kind of little Easter eggs that are similar to watching the detective show. And then I see them on here and I'm like, oh, that's so fun. Okay, once you've done that, you can also fingerprint Clementine because she's already here. And then we need to browse the police database. Do we need to like put her back? I actually don't know if we need to put them back or if they just go back to their, their cell themselves. I think she just goes back herself. Oh, but we also need to take a mugshot. Hold on. If you're still here, let's take a mugshot of you as well. She's going to walk all the way back and then she's going to walk all the way back again. Oh, apparently we cannot take a mugshot of her. Well, then let's take a mugshot of the other one, the other inmate. Oh, look, there's a ghost at the police station because that makes total sense. Okay, he's just taking her to go upstairs and then we need to browse the police database. And then someone actually said that talking to the chief is a specific interaction. So I'm going to see if I can find that. Oh, talk to chief. There we go. Let me see. Was I actually... Oh, that's the thing. I needed to solve a case. That's what I need to do to get promoted again. And also it says my work performance is average. Excuse me. I've been delivering excellent work at this station. Also, I'm going to finish my grilled cheese sandwich. I feel like that's a perfect task to do while I'm talking to the chief. That shows, shows great work performance, right? Bringing your lunch in to talk with the chief. You're a real blue flame special, aren't you, Hart? Thank you. Yes, chief. That's me. Discuss case theories. Can I discuss that with you, officer? Yes. Okay, okay I don't want to do the bookings. I actually feel like I want to go on patrol. Let's see if we can if we can find some suspicious behavior in the neighborhood. Oh, this is a pretty house. Chat with civilians. Oh, we need to offer citations again. I keep forgetting that this is such a pretty build. I feel like this, this build on is a little bit random though, but it is a nice build. I like it. It's a bit silly, but it's fun. Spend two hours on patrol. Okay, so we arrived at 1235. That means that we have to be here until 235. Let's just do a funny introduction. Introduction. Wow. Sometimes I say words so strangely when I say them in a sentence. Let's flatter her. Why not? We apparently know her already. Oh. No! I accidentally returned to the police station. I planned on clicking off. Give them a citation. That's sad. That's actually really sad. I messed up. Yeah, there. I don't think there's going to be a promotion for me today. Oh, well, that's what you get for trying to work on Christmas. Also, why were people fighting outside their house on Christmas? That doesn't seem... I was going to say that doesn't seem like a great day to fight. But then I realized that actually that is a perfect day to fight. Because what other family occasions do you have that are like so tense as Christmas? I feel like Christmas is always... It's super nice and super cozy. But if you have family tension, Christmas is like potentially... The the worst time of the year. We are in fact almost near like close to a perfect work day. So we need to browse the police database again. So going on patrol, if you do that and you just return home to the police station without completing your task, it still ticks it off. That is interesting because that means that we don't have to waste two hours on patrol if we don't need it to solve the case. I mean, take a police report from a civilian. Civilians come to the station to report crimes. Ooh, do we actually have a civilian in the building? Because I feel like everyone here is, she's doing lab research, I think, literal lab research. We need to get more criminals to book fingerprints. Let's just do that. Unless someone spots a civilian, then I, I will take them in and, and ask them some questions. He's going to get her from downstairs. I have seen civilians come up. Is that a civilian? Yes. Perfect. Take police reports. There we go. That's so realistic though. That civilians show up to like report a crime. I really like that. I think that's funny. Where are you though? Oh my God. You're, you're so slow. I think we're going to have a great work day though. It's only 2 p.m. And then we need to discuss our case theories again. Discuss case theories. And then can we deduce a new clue. I saw a play someone playing with matches near trash can in the park. If they don't change their ways, those pyromaniacs are going to grow up to be arsonist someday. That is, that might be true. Although I have to admit to, as a kid, also have once, maybe twice set things on fire. I blame scouts for this though. You shouldn't teach children in scouts that it's fun to make like campfires because then we want to make campfires outside of scouts. Okay. He's deducing a new clue. So I'm just waiting for him to do that. And then I actually, now that we've already completed our workday this well, I might as well just focus on the case. He also kind of needs to pee. That's unfortunate. So I don't think we have a toilet on the ground floor. Clue discovered. You'll have 
have discovered that the suspect is wearing a tank top. Yule has, clo uh, has enough clues to issue an APB at the crime map. Collecting more clues before issuing an APB. Okay. So people also told me that the APB actually applies to what they're, or like the, the clues that you find actually apply to their day-to-day -day outfit. Or like, no, not day-to-day. -day. They're everyday. That's the word I was looking for. Their everyday outfit. So sometimes they might not be wearing that if you show up, for instance, now, like you show up in winter, they might be wearing their outdoor like winter outfit. So we would have to see all the Sims that are here. We would have to like kind of like change them into their everyday wear. You know what is nice though? We can actually use the restroom here. I haven't been to this park in a long time. I built this park for forever ago. It actually looks kind of cute in winter. Okay, so I'm just gonna be annoying. Wait, what clues do we know again? Where is my notepad? The suspect is wearing a tank top. The suspect is a young adult. The suspect is female. The suspect has black hair and the suspect is wearing shorts. Okay, so neither of these two ladies can be it because um, they both don't have black hair. You have black hair though. Hold on. Let me see what your everyday wear is. MC command center change outfit. That is a tank top, but that's not shorts. It said shorts, right? Okay, so you're not our suspect. Please don't freeze to death now that I changed your outfit. He's gonna feel really gross after using that bathroom, but okay. I mean, we can ask them, I guess. Ask about suspect. We can ask you too. We might as well be thorough. Oh, uh, we can... You. Oh, we've already asked that, Sim? What is your outfit? Hold on. You have black hair as well. You look a little suspicious. MC dresser. Change outfit. She wears shorts and that could qualify as a tank top. That is actually a tank top. Should we arrest her? Should we just go for it? Could be fun, you know? Just living on the edge. What a, what a day to be alive. It's like, it's Christmas. Let's arrest someone. And then I might actually extend the workday so I have time to book her in. He's very flirty. He's, he's about to arrest someone. He's like, hi, do you want to come with me? I'm your officer. <laughs> Imagine, oh my goodness, just flirting your suspect into the police station. That's one way to arrest someone. He actually brought her back to the police station. Now he needs to interrogate a suspect. Let's actually stay late. Interrogate suspect. Now that I know that that's actually something that I have to do, I think I can manage it this time. Would be cool if we actually solve the case. I wonder if, if we actually... The suspect appears to be guilty. It's time to put this criminal behind bars. What? I mean, I guess if we don't have to do anything, but we have to interrogate her still. That's like a day daily task. So maybe we should do that. Get confession. Did we already interrogate her? I actually think we interrogated her and then we let her go because I didn't actually put her behind bars because I don't know how to do that. Hold on. Lock in cell. Oh, actually he's gonna lock her in cell now. Okay. Does that mean that we've solved the case? Will that actually tick off? Case closed. Nice work. That's one more criminal off the streets. Unfortunately, crime never sleeps and we have another case waiting for you. Get the assignment from a computer and get back out there. We did it. We actually solved the case. I'm pretty proud of myself. We didn't really have to stay late though. So now I'm just at work until late even though i don't have to can i still leave early will result in a penalty he has two hours left in his work day okay that's my mistake well i guess we're just gonna we're just gonna get like super excellent work performance right now by just completing all these tasks let's talk to the chief let's discuss our case theories we can exercise for an hour that's actually not a bad thing to do at work i'm one excessive force complaint away from asking for your badge watch yourself what did he do? What on earth did he do to piss off the chief that badly? That's not good. Okay, he's just gonna run until his workday is done. And then when we get home, we're gonna move into our new apartment. I'm super excited. Yay. Oh, we actually did get promoted. Yule has been promoted to senior detective. He will now make an additional 20, an additional 28 per hour. That's a really good promotion for a grand total of 85 per hour. He has also received the following bonus. Unlocked one-way mirror window, a tainter. We got a bonus of 416 simoleon and we got new clothes. I'll take all of that. Thank you. That's pretty neat. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I have issues with detective outfits because Yule looks too good in them. Because now he's a senior detective and look at him. Look at his work outfit. Not good for me. Not good for my heart. He needs to solve another case and then he will get promoted again. Okay, we can do that. Not today though, because right now it is time to move into our new house. And I actually wanted to go into build mode because I wanted to see. We got the chair. I'm going to sell that. I was wondering what we got, but I'm not going to take that chair with me. 
That gives us even more money. I think that means it's time to actually move out, move household. And then we're going to go into our brand new house. And then we're going to furnish the room. I'm super excited about that. Okay, there's one rental unit that is still free. The rating is three stars. And there is actually, it's 42 a day. And the furnishings are 2,000 for what? Oh, for the bathroom. Because it comes with a bathroom that's already fully furnished. I have, in fact, already furnished Plum Bobby's room. And I have, in fact, already furnished Yuki's room. So they are already living here in this safe file. So I. I think it is time we're gonna move in here. We're gonna actually sell our furniture. That gives us 15, th that's weird. Didn't we already have 15,000? Oh, but we're actually purchasing furniture worth of 2,000. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. That leaves us with, with 15,000 and the rent is 42 a day. That's actually not too bad. I think this is gonna be a really affordable apartment. I like with the rental units that you can actually build apartments that at least for my feel have a little bit more of a reasonable rent or like something that feels a bit more realistic. So he has arrived with his two cats. For those of you who haven't seen the build yet, it is up as a speed build as the previous episode in the series, actually. And I have come to realize that I might actually change some things. I think I will change them specifically in my Not So Berry Challenge save file because there we have some drama going on, which is most likely going to result in a unexpected residence of this house. I'm not really sure if I will change that much or like if I'll fully change all of the things in this save file as well, but we're going to see. We actually have our room right here and this is our hallway or like our bathroom. On the hallway, we actually have some space to do washing and outside we actually have a little bit of decoration as well and we have a litter box here although i might actually add the automatic litter box to his room so we also have that and then i think it's just time to start furnishing his room i think i'm just gonna do this in a way that i like walk you through the vision that i have for it and i i still would like to make that room like relatively blue because that's kind of the color scheme that i've been going with so far for all of his rooms and i think that's pretty cute i feel like that still really fits with also his personality but also like his name and his whole backstory. So I'm gonna see what kind of wallpaper I'd like to use. I've already used this wallpaper in the purple room, so I almost feel like it's weird to use it here as well, but that's a really nice wallpaper. I like it a lot. Something like that could also be fun, but I don't know. That's my problem with blue is that it very, very quickly feels like unhomey, and I kind of want to prevent that. I want to still make it feel cozy, but actually that one works pretty well. Maybe go for like the darker blue curtain. Ooh, I didn't mean to. I ex accidentally pressed a number on my keyboard and apparently I still had like a camera preset attached to it because it just jumped. <laughs> I actually really like the dark blue. This is different to what I've actually done in the Not So Berry Challenge save file. If you want to see what I did there for the same house or like the same room, at least you can check it out. Of course, I think this is cute. I am going to do something similar to what I did in the other version of this build is close this off and like make it into a little closet space because I just think that makes the most sense. I might actually want to use a before I use an actual closet door, but it might be fun. Oh my God, that's an open door. That's so cute. Hold on. Does that actually? fit without glitching. I think that kind of fits. Okay, that doesn't fit perfectly, but does that show on the outside of the house? It does. Okay, that's kind of annoying, but that's such a cute door. That shows so badly on the outside of the house. Now it shows on this outside of the house. Okay, that doesn't work here, but that's such a cute door. I'm going to use that for sure in another build. I don't think this build is the right build for it, but I'm going to use it. A closet sliding door. Oh, that actually might be perfect. That is, that's great. I feel like that's exactly what that needs. We can use like a little wardrobe. I actually have this one, which I think will fit there perfectly. I don't think I'm going to actually fill it with stuff. It's just like one of those built-in wardrobes. And then I didn't take his bed, so we're going to have to give him a new bed, which I don't think is a bad thing because his previous bed wasn't really a good one. I, I definitely want to give him a double bed. I really like this bedding. I feel like I've already used it somewhere. That's his old bed, so I'm not going to give that to him again. <gasps> Oh, that's actually really pretty. Hold on. I love that. What is this from? It's from a winged llama. Oh, this came with the boho apartment set. I didn't realize that came with so many beds, but that's super pretty. I actually really like that one. Okay, let's see. We need a nice blue rug. And the thing with blue is that I always notice there's a lot of like either really girly or a little bit more childish designs, or it immediately feels like an office. So I'm going to try to like balance it out a little bit to match with his personality. If that makes sense. I think I Actually, 
that rug might be nice, but I also know that this room is pretty big. So I could even get a second rug in here to kind of maybe separate. I'm not sure if, I, if I'll need a second rug. Maybe one is enough actually. Or wait, do we have a round? We also have a dark blue round one. We could get a dark blue one and make, make like a little seating area. And then the rugs actually match. I think that might be really cute. And then let's give him some nightstands. Do I want to give him blue ones? Do these come in like a wood tone? Oh, actually that kind of works. I like that a lot. I feel like always when you do a colored build, you really have to watch out not to overdo all the colors, but at the same time, use it enough that it's like very clear that that was your color scheme or like your vision. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that. We obviously need a plant, like a bigger plant in the corner as well. So let's just see what we have. Actually, that's the perfect size to go next to the bed over there. Then I think having like a standing mirror over here would be really nice, but I don't want that. I don't want one that leans against the wall. I think I want one that stands like individually so that the curtain can go behind it. I think that's nice. And then we actually have quite a lot of space in here, but we also took quite some things. So let's start with the fact that I took the desk with me and I took the bookcase, which I think would fit really neatly in here. We also took his Xbox, but I'm not sure if I already put, I already put a console in this house. So now I'm like, do I maybe also want to have him have a TV in his room? Like we easily could if we wanted to, but then it might make sense to shift this around. I might have some ideas because then wait would that make sense i feel like the sofa would still be so far away actually maybe we can then have the desk over here and then we can actually make like a little seating area like almost like a living room in his room because we have so much space let's go and find a cute blue sofa like a smaller one we can use a simple one though do i want to have the desk there then does that make sense oh we could do this we can have like a little a little area where he can read we can add like a comfy chair with the rug we can have the desk over here and then we can have the sofa sitting over here. I just think we need a smaller sofa then. We need a two-seater and I think that's the size of a three-seater. That's much better. There we go. And we can add like a nice light to the side. Hold on. I have a vision, people. Then I want to have a TV cabinet. Actually, something like this might be nice. That brings in the white from the, the bookcase that is standing behind it. Oh, that one is so cute. Yeah, I have so much cute CC. I love it when I get to use CC in my builds. I'm like, yes, thank you. I missed using CC. Okay, we can just get like a smaller TV. That's the, the upside of all of this is we have quite some money from selling all these random things. We can have his bag sitting over here. I think that's cute. The pet bed can also go over here. I do want another plant in that corner because that corner right now looking a little bit sad and that might be a, a bit too. Oh, that could go into this corner actually. And maybe we could do a nice hanging plant. I have so many good plants, but like not all of them work obviously. Oh, that's cute. I like that. We can even do like stacked. So a plant, but then also a hanging plant underneath, but then I just need a narrow plant. Hold on something like that there we go that's pretty cute that looks like a really homey corner and then i just want to have a chair i know there is chairs that actually fit with the um, with the sofa that i used but i can see this fitting as well kind of like a cozy reading corner i just need some books wait did i take i think i actually took some books do these come in a different swatch as well or just this one wait i copied them but now i don't see them that's strange i'll just get a bunch of books in this in this cabinet cute book cabinet little reading area then i just need to get a chair for the desk. And then he already has his laptop, which we can put over here. And then he has a bunch of like cat toys and stuff. I might just put that in his room. I think I need to clutter this desk a bit more manually so we can have some stuff a little bit closer together. The kid's traveler's backpack. I actually think I'm going to throw that out. I think I'm going to put his scouts trophies. I'm going to put it on his desk. Like he is pretty proud of that. And his keepsake box is also going to go on the desk. I feel feel like I'm just gonna put the eggs on the desk for now so that I can drag them into the keepsake box as well as the painting because that's just like all memorabilia that I don't want to I don't want to lose but I also don't necessarily want to keep in the build right now I'm gonna keep the scouts board can you put that in the box as well I actually want to try hold on like what can I drag into this box I don't think I can put that in there no okay so I'm just gonna keep the scouts board in my household infantry then I do think I can put this one in the keepsake box yeah yeah, I can. Okay, great. And then I think we can put some pictures on that wall. I have a couple in here. Wait, didn't I literally just see the picture with Violet in here? And now I don't see it anymore. That's strange. That is really strange. I'll just have one of these over here, I think. I know that I also have two pet bowls downstairs, so I actually don't want to have too much 
in here. This is a little holiday decoration. I actually don't think we have a decoration box in this house. I don't think I added it somewhere. So let's put that downstairs in the hallway. Look, the picture with Violet is back. See, I'm not, I'm not making up things. It was there and then it was gone, but now it's back. Or maybe I'm just blind. I think that'd be cute to put over there. He also has his family picture that I just realized we also should put up. This one over here. That's like his high school memories. And then I'm going to put the family picture on the wall over here because you'll actually be able to see that. I can even put the little frog trophy in the keepsake box. And I think that's everything for now. Oh no, we need, we need another light. Hold on. I just realized I, I just noticed the light that I used in this room. No, no, no. We, we can't work with that. I'm sorry. Let's go into lighting. We need a cozy light, like something that looks like a nice bedroom light and then change the lighting color to warm. There we go. Perfect. Now it looks like a proper bedroom. That is much, much nicer. I like this a lot. I think this is a super cute bedroom. I would love to hear your thoughts on, on this bedroom. If you have any like suggestions, I'm going to move the family picture up there. Oh, that fits so perfectly. I'm super excited for him to live here. I think that it, this is a really, really, really nice bedroom for him. I feel like it also makes sense. Like he now has his, his personal space. I feel like if you rent a house like this with roommates, you probably make your own little personal space with maybe like a TV and your computer and like a little reading nook and stuff. But at the same time, they also have the living room downstairs where they can just hang out, which I also think, by the way, will slowly get more personalized. And I think in the next episode, because I have been filming for quite a while already today, so I think I might actually leave this episode here, which means that the next episode, we're actually going to celebrate Christmas with Dawn. So I think we're going to invite everyone over to this house for like a nice Christmas party. And we can either decorate the living room for Christmas, or I might actually put a big Christmas tree in the cafe downstairs stairs where they can celebrate all together. But I am very, very excited to actually live in this house. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part is of the room that we furnished. And also if you have any other fun ideas or suggestions for the storyline, I am super stoked to play more in this house and to just kind of explore him living together with Yuki and together with Plum Bobby. And I think there's going to be some drama here and there. So make sure to also uh, pick up on the Not So Berry Challenge on my Twitch if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, this would be a perfect time to do so. So you don't miss that next episode of the pack legacy challenge if you like this episode please toss it a cheeky like because it does really help the video get to more people and with all of that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye everyone